there you go. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Good. That's the Master Avionics. And we're landing lights off. We got our nav. We'll go ahead and turn our nav on too now that we got it started. Okay. That'll put the red and the green light on. Now we're going to try to keep it right around here and we're going to lean. We're going to lean for taxi because this has lead in it, leaded gas, and it will foul up. So what I'm doing, I'm just sort of rolling it back a little and I'm watching the RPM gauge. I'm looking for a, 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 a increase or a decrease. If it decreases, then I'm going to roll it back in. There, see that? Yeah. There, that was the decrease. All right, so good. So that's about where it should be? Yeah, for now, yeah. Okay, go back to your checklist. Okay. Oil pressure in the green. Yep. Lights as required. There we go. Uh, no half scope for now. Okay. Uh, mixture as required. You just did yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, pre taxi. Seat belts and harnesses. Okay. Uh, flaps up. Okay. There's your flaps here. Okay. You want to lift it to zero. Then you want to vis visually verify that they came all the way up, both of them. Look in there. They're both up. Both up good. Okay, continue onward. Um, vent and defrost. Say again. Heat, vent, and defrost. Okay, that's a, your heat, cabin heat, pull, cabin air, cabin heat. That all the way in, or how yeah, does it? Yeah, yeah. Pull on. If you want cabin air, you pull it on, and it'll suck in air from outside. Okay. And same thing, cabin heat, it takes a... Uh, there's a shroud around the exhaust system, and right. it heats that air up, and then uh, and then blows it into lets it come into the cabin. Avionics on, set. Okay. What we're gonna do here? We're gonna now acknowledge some stuff. GPS is coming online, and we'll just do a. I'm just gonna do a direct two for now. Sort of just watch it. I'm just sort of dialing it, dialing it in with the little knob. Right. Mike. Big knob moves it over. Okay. MQ. Why? And move it over. Why? Myrna, and you hit enter. Yep. Activate. Yep. And it loads it up, and we would change the ring on it, move it, move it in a little bit. Okay. Okay. okay, transponder uh, standby. Okay, we're going to leave it on gr altitude right now. Because there's a new policy out, it's called ADSB, and we'll talk about it later. Okay, um, ADIS and AWOS. Okay, we're going to get that now. There's a frequency. One night, it's sort of in on, but they got a pre, uh, they got a pre, uh, a pre, uh, pre recorded, recorded message on it. So, what we're going to do is this has a. One radio here and one radio here. We're going to use this to primarily talk to people, and this one to listen to the weather. Notice it's on the free correct frequency, 119er. We don't hear it because we got to pull up COM2. 810. Sky condition, 3,500 scattered. Temperature, 1,6 Celsius. Dew point, 9er Celsius. Altimeter, 2, 9er, 9er, 6. Airport. Automated weather observation. I give it about a thousand two, one, RPM. Five, six, Zulu. Wind estimated one niner zero at one four. Visibility one zero. Sky right condition down the three thousand five hundred. But we can't use that runway. Scattered. Temperature it's one closed. six Celsius. So we'll probably point, be taking off on runway one Celsius. Four. Altimeter okay. two niner niner six. Two niner niner six. These are in two tenths. Uh, hundreds of it. Smyrna Airport. So this Automated would be weather observation. Niner zero, two, one, niner five, two, six, niner zero. four, Wind niner estimated six. Estimated one niner zero at one four. Visibility one zero. Sky that condition three thousand five hundred. Oh, each scattered. one temperature is, uh, one six two. Celsius. Dew point niner Celsius. Altimeter two okay. niner niner that's, six. That's right around field elevation. Going here field elevation five forty three. To be uh, to use Smyrna that airport automated weather observation to for that to be usable, you have to uh, has to be within 75 feet of uh, of um, field elevation. Hear me? Yeah. Okay. 
second, it seemed like it cut out there. Yeah, it did. All right. Okay, what's next on the checklist? All right, uh, Says altimeter. We set. just set the yep. altimeter. Radio test. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna talk and get see if we can get us a clearance. Uh, let's go run it up first before we ask for a clearance. So, right now we uh, there's a couple things we can set on the ground here. One of these is we can, from your point of view, you want to put that red plane over that white line. From your point of view, over the white line or yeah, even with over the white it. Line? Yeah, even even with it, so you can't see the white line. Okay. This is a magnetic compass. It's uh, the only standalone a piece of equipment that doesn't need to know anything. This is our our vacuum powered uh, heading indicator. We want this to match this. So it's a slightly, maybe just a tick off. So to change it, to push, turn, that. Okay. Okay, the wind, we divide it up into sectors when we're taxiing a plane. And we, you have two sectors. You got what we call headwind. You got two sectors called tailwind. And right now, the wind is coming out of one nine or zero. So the way it's coming right now, it's over here. And it would be dive away. Dive away. So it's coming over this thing, so we dive away. Notice the wind vector is going to change. Go ahead and take your feet off the brakes. See how it's starting to roll? I'm going to push on the, the left rudder. And okay. if it's not turning it up, I just put a little on the brake. Now okay. see, the, see the, the wind vector starting to change? Now it's directly behind us. So we can sort of go neutral. You're looking at your wingtips. Try to, if you got planes, you just sort of, sort of cut them in half. So um, you don't um, you know, hit any. Hey, notice that yellow signs are informational signs. Right. Um, telling you one for us down that way. We don't have a taxi clearance yet, but this is what they call a non-movement area, which means we can move around without a taxi clearance. But we're going to pull up here and uh, get a taxi clearance. That means 14 to the left, 19 to the right. Yep. And one and one and three. That way. We're just going to pull over here to that airplane and get a taxi clearance. Want to make sure that uh, you're holding the ailerons that way to fight the wind. the wind. Yeah. So it doesn't tip us over. Now I want you to I want you to slowly apply the brakes on the top, nice and easy. Notice their differential. If you don't put it evenly, you turn it. See how you turned it? You, you put more pressure on the right than on the left. That's why it turned that way. Here, I'll show you. But it get it straightened back out. I'm going to apply pressure evenly. Stop forward. Right. Uh, you get you get the hang of it. I don't expect you to get it the first time. Okay, now we got to start talking to people. And I'm going to give you a blank one of these to take with you and you can make all the copies you want. Just sort of follow along how this works. Want this me to write sort of, on this one? No, 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 just save that one and make copies. First of all, we're, who are we going to contact? We're going to contact Clearance. Notice here, right on the taxi sheet, that's another thing you have it out here. Clearance is 121.4. So we may write that down, 121.4. Our, our call sign is right here in front of your eyes. There. We're five, one, four, zero hotel. We're a Cessna 152. 152. Five, one, four, zero hotel. I see it's cutting out a little bit. Okay, we're gonna depart to the East Practice area on a heading of zero nine or zero. And we're going to go up to 3,500. But I'm asking. And we have the weather. And the rest is, uh, frequency is tower. Are you hearing me? Tower is 1, 1, 8.5. So this is how it goes. Make sure I got my frequency set. Make sure I got the volume set the way I want it. Pretty good. So this is the push to talk, and you have to oh, it's sort of buried in there. Yeah, heat it up. Watch here. Yeah, 
like X. So it goes like this. Contacting Smyrna Clearance, Cessna 5140 Hotel. Cessna 5140 Hotel, Smyrna Ground. Smyrna Ground, uh, 5140 Hotel, Cessna 152, departing 090, 3500 with the weather. Cessna 5140 Hotel, Smyrna Ground, runway 32, taxi for a hotel intersection departure via right turn at Juliet, and then hotel cross runway 1. Okay, for an intersection departure on runway 32 at hotel, right on Juliet, the hotel across runway 1. 40 hotel. So it's 5 and 4 hotel, read back correct, wind 300 at 20, altimeter 290 Okay, so we've been given, going to take us off on runway 32. Different than I thought, because it changed. So we're going to go right on, on hotel. Juliet Hotel, and we're going to intersection take. Okay. We're using a combination of brake and aileron. Go ahead and uh, uh, the object is to try to keep it on the line. Right now, the wind is coming. He said it's 3 2 now. So we're going to dive away. See a windsock out there? Verify that. Don't. So go ahead and uh, you take the yoke and the throttle. Remember to turn that throttle off is to pull out. Okay. I'll sort of help you with the... Hey, you got your... And we try not to taxi faster than a quick, quick, really brisk walk. Remember, you use your feet to steer. Okay. I thought you were still steering. No, no, no. Okay. Bird will get out of the way. Go ahead and pull back the throttle just a little, because we're up a little speed. Remember, yeah, there you go. Nice and gentle, though. You don't want to get real uh, aggressive. Okay. We, he didn't tell us to hold short on one, because it's closed. Normally, you could not cross this line without a clearance. Remember, hold on, hold on, not. I'll help you out. No, you hold on. You hold okay. on to it. We're gonna, like okay. I said, it's nice. Get away from you real quick. If you... Normally we'd stop right here. Yeah. No, back there. Yeah. But since yeah. this runway is closed, he gave us authorization to go. This is what they call a hold short line. Okay. Never cross this unless you have a clearance, and we do have a clearance. Okay. Still trying to get you to where the rudder is. Yeah. You hold on. Break. You're holding on to everything still. Okay. You're trying to steer this thing. I'm helping you out a little. Nice and easy. There you go. Keep on the line. Hold on to your oak. There you go. Remember, this doesn't steer it. Your feet. Right. Little, little right rudder. Right rudder. Right rudder. There you go. See, it's coming back around. There you go. I feel you're putting a little pressure. See the red, red, red. Do not cross the red without permission. We have not got permission. Okay. Switch over to uh, power. We're gonna go ahead and. We're gonna try here. Let me have the airplane a second. Turn it in. Wind a little. To our run up here. Okay, get your uh, checklist. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do the run up. I'll set the brakes with my feet. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and call it out. Uh, brakes set. Right, we got them set. I got my brakes set right here. Fuel right on. Okay, the fuel is right here and it's on. Here. Okay. If it was off, it's only on and off. If it was off, right. we wouldn't be going anywhere. It would have stopped a long time ago. Right. It's right, right here. I'll show you. Okay. The lever. Okay. Um, trim, takeoff, set okay. takeoff. Okay, this is the trim. And right here, see the arrow? So it's about trim for takeoff. Okay, flight controls. Pretty incorrect. This is what we call running the box. 
The first thing I'm going to do, when I turn this way, I'm looking to see that aileron come down. Did it come down? Yeah. Then I'm turning to the inside, and I'm looking at my elevator. Turn to the inside here. Look all the way back. See your elevator come up? Right. Now I'm ro rolling the uh, ailerons back over, and I'm looking at this one that came down. And now I'm pushing forward to see my aileron go back down. My eleva elevator. Then I'm trying the, the rudders. See if they, it moves the rudder. Good. You're checking. Just because you move these doesn't mean it moves the control surface. You want to check. We'll do it again several times before, uh... okay? Okay, um, flight controls, we just did that, yep. instruments. Okay, we set this one, uh, we've already set that one at same. There's not much else to set, good, okay. All right, mixture, best power. Okay, we got it, we're gonna set that here in just a second. All right, primer and lock, it okay. was in lock. Okay. Um, 1700 RPMs. Here's your RPM gauge, 1700 is the second tick mark, so, Smoothly, I'll put your mixture in. Smoothly run the throttle up to 1700. And you got your feet on the brakes so it doesn't roll. Keep on going. Up to 1700, there you go. Okay. I'll just have it, it's the magnetos. We're going to go to the left. Okay. Turn it to the left, right there. To okay. The left. Yep. Now back to both. And what we're trying to still have a good, strong running engine. Okay, now to the right. Engine's still running, it's not missing, it's not it's not sputtering, it's still going, so back to both. Okay, good. Verified on both. Okay, next. Um bags we just checked, carb heat, test. Okay, this is the carb heat. Pull it out and when you see a should she a drop. And it should run just a just a tad rough. Okay. And then that's good. You're trying to burn off any carbides that may have built up. Vacuum. Check there's a, this is the vacuum, should be in the green. Okay, it's in the green. Uh, amps and bolts. Okay, there's your oil pressure, oil temp, fuel quantity, fuel. Here's your amps over here. Okay. Says it's at zero. Yep. Um, oil pressure. Yep. In the green. Oil temperature. In the green. Yep. Um, idle check. Yep. Close. Yep. Good. Okay, I'm going to get us up, uh, and I'll talk to him. Sparta Tower 514, zero hotel, holding short, runway 32 at hotel. 514, zero hotel, uh, Sparta Tower, right turn out uh, approved, runway 32 at hotel, clear for takeoff. Okay, clear for takeoff, runway 32 at hotel, right turn approved, for zero hotel. Okay, he's been, we've just got a takeoff clearance, so now we can go across here. Okay. okay. I want you to slide your feet off the brakes. Okay. And you still got them on the rudders. See, uh, you can feel me on the rudders? Yeah, I can feel Don't you. Don't fight me. Okay. Rudders. Both ways. I know. have to. I'll do the first takeoff, but you're going to follow along, hand on the yoke. I want you to feel the pressure I'm going to put on it. Okay. So don't fight me. So now we're going to smoothly, when we give it full power, it's going to want to go off that way. Okay. Because of the torque. Remember I told you? Right. So what we're going to do is you'll see me put in a little right rudder when it, start, when it tries to go. Looking at the crosswind. Got a little bitty crosswind, not much. Got airspeed alive. I got oil pressure. This thing will start to want to fly here any second. I'm giving it just a little pressure, little pressure, little pressure, little pressure. There we go. We're off. Notice I'm holding the throttle in so it doesn't come out. Right. And I'm holding... Uh, a little pressure to uh, into the wind so it doesn't blow us off the runway. That's that wind I'm talking about. Yeah. If we get up a little higher, it'll be all right. Hold on to the yoke. Find this thing here in a second. We're looking at our systems to make sure everything's good. Now we're going to go ahead and make a nice, gentle turn out to the right. So it's a heading of zero, niner, zero. Wait, hold on to it. You're flying this thing, Starfield. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. No, you got it. I'm helping you. Remember, we're turning to a heading of 0, 09 and 0, and we still got a slight climb. Got plenty of good airspeed. Looking good. Got your feet on the rudder. Okay, now we're coming from 0, 09 and 0. We're going to roll out. Good. Now, throttle still in. Good. Try to keep the wings level. 
don't let the nose come up too high on you. Good. Notice that zero nine zero has sort of gone off of that way a little bit, so you just thinkingly just sort of cruise over there just a little bit, just a little bit. Over that way. Zero nine zero, see the east. Good. Now as it rolls out, you roll it out. Good. Awesome. We'll get, keep climbing up and we'll get out of this, uh, this uh, bumpiness. See how it's, you gotta be looking out. Yeah. Your VFR, sit up high as you can and look out. You're looking for traffic. Trying to keep a climb of about 75, 80 knots. And you're trying to keep the wings level best you can. We're in the tower of Cessna 64423, holding short on 32 Hotel, ready for takeoff. Cessna 64423, we're in the tower runway 32, clear for takeoff uh, at Juliet, correction, at Hotel. Left traffic, Port Mid Village Town. What we're doing is we're trying to get some little altitude here and get to the practice area, and then we'll, we'll start maneuvering. 64423. We're 1,850, 1,900, coming up on 2,000 feet MSL, mean sea level. Okay. Remember, we started out at 500 feet. So if you sort of subtract the 500 feet, we're about 1,500 AGL. And we're looking for traffic at all times. Going to 3,500? Yeah, we're going to go up to 3,500, yeah. Remember, you're looking for traffic, and if you can't see over the nose, sometimes you just lower it just a little bit, take a look, make sure somebody's not coming at you, yeah, you can start back up again. There's the Nashville International Speedway. We're looking at our parameters again. We're looking at our pressures, our fuels, our oil temp, oil pressure, looking good. And our hops time is 4-4, four, four, so it took about four tenths to get us going. About well, three tenths probably we've been out. You relaxed yet? A little I bit. Know, a little tense. Uh, yeah. There's uh, a lot going on. Yeah, there, there is a lot going on, off. but this is your very first lesson, really, so <laughs> don't worry about it. Um, just think of this as a lake, an ocean of air. It's a liquid. Right. And you're, and it's always moving. It's always dynamic. There's always wind pushing us around, and we just have to roll with the punches on it. And uh, you can see it sort of, uh, sort of. Now we're at what? 2,500 climbing, 3,500. MSL. Yeah, MSL, yeah. And then you can lower the nose and take a look. Another way is that you can do gentle S turns if you're climbing to look in front of. You. Let's say we wanted to look out in front, so we just do a little S turn and just sort of look out that way. And then, you know, you do, you turn back this way and, you know, look out that way to clear the area type thing. What they call an S-turn clearance. We're going to go back to zero, 09 or zero. How's it going? You hear me okay? Yeah, I can still hear you pretty good. Yeah. Okay, we're now considered in the practice area. Wind's starting to hit us. A little bit. This is, um, this is, uh, this is not your average day, no. It's a, the wind's a little bit bumpy today. Corner tower, but, this is Okay, we're past the rate track. Good. All right. Now. And front of the tower, zero three seven two Lima Foxtrot. Uh, hold Airspeed port, three, indicator. Two, ready to go. Indicating what right, about eighty five? Uh, right turn out speed. Runway three two. Yeah. Okay. Off. Could be a right it's turn it, for uh, exhaust. Uh, gas temperature. EGT. 
At the cylinder head temperature. Okay. That's hey, uh, we're heading south for Tulima Fox. Can we make a left turn? Number two, Lima Fox. Yes, Kevin, we're crew. coming up on 3,500. 3,500 will be down. This is a navigational uh, display. We're not going to worry about that right now. We're okay. still on eastern heading. This is your turn coordinator. I want to show you something about that. We're going to go ahead and level out here in a minute. So when you level out, you start to just sort of lower the nose. Okay. Nice. And you stay with me and just sort of feel it. And uh, also, as you do, you notice the RPMs will pick up. So we'll come back on the RPMs a little bit and try to keep them about 22, 23. Okay. And then uh, then we'll we'll see how it stabilizes and uh, trim it out if we have to. This is your turn coordinator. It's an electric device. Notice it has DC electric here. Right. It's one of the few instruments that's running electrical power. It has wings level. And then this thing here is what you're going to hear it called the two-minute standard rate turn. Okay. In other words, if you hold it right there for two minutes, today would be difficult to hold it there for two minutes, you do a 360. You would turn a complete circle in okay. two minutes. If you keep it on there, it's called a, a, the two-minute standard rate turn. Okay. This is your heading indicator. Again, it is, it is powered by a gyroscope and a vacuum pump. The vacuum pump spins the gyro. And both of these are running off the same the, the same pump. Those clouds, uh, we're about even with them clouds. We're going to come down a little bit. We're going to go back down to 3,000. See how we're sort of about even with them? Yeah. We don't want it to be that. So we're going to just sort of come down a little bit. Um, uh, then, of course, this is your attitude indicator, and it is also gyroscopically powered. So we, we've already talked about this. Vertical speed, this is a, a rate-based instrument that tells us our, our descent rate. Right now, we're descending at about 500 foot a minute. Right. If I want to slow my descent, I just sort of pull back on the yoke a little bit, and you'll see it's trending, trending to a slower. Right. Now we're about, now we're like what they call straight and level, sort of. We're not roughly. Good. And we're on a heading of what? Well, we're heading north, I know yeah. that. They'll, they'll usually call it as 360. Okay. If they assign it to you, head, uh, heading of 360. You'll notice any time they give a heading, it'll always be, three, always be three numbers. They want you to turn here, it'll be 030. Okay. You know, if they want to turn you here, it'll be 210. Here, it'll be 330. All right, and then, of course, we already talked about your pressures here. This is your RPM gauge, revolutions per minute. Okay, now, first thing, uh, there's, uh, there's two different rate-based things we're going to learn about. One of them is a, a rate of climb at a particular airspeed. Uh, another one will be a rate of climb and descent at a particular speed per minute. Okay. So I said, I say, Garfield, I want you to descend at 500 foot a minute. So you, any time you descend, it's a generally uh, necessitates uh, a power reduction. So you would, you know, maybe pull back the power a little bit, maybe 2,000 RPM, and then you would uh, try to get it leveled out at about 500 foot a minute. They may be a, a rather a chore because of uh, things. About but right you sort there. of get the idea, yeah. And if you got pressure, you can take the pressure out with the trim. We'll, we'll deal with that here in a minute more. If I said, okay, I want you to climb at, at 90 knots, but you do a climb necessitates power. So you would roll the power in, nice and smooth, make sure you don't have your flaps down. Now you're going to pitch for 90. Notice it's starting to slow down now. Okay. And that's something I want to show you. It's a given on this thing. Now you, you can, if you pitch up, that airspeed is going to go without a power change. If you pitch up, it's going to go but one way, and that is it's going to decrease. Watch as we pitch up. And you can pitch it up high enough and take it all the way to the stall. We're not going to do that, <laughs> but I'm just going to show you. See how it does? Now, is the exact opposite if you pitch it down. Look at the airspeed. Speed up. Yeah, and the RPMs, watch the RPMs. You can overspeed the propeller so you come back on it. Report midfield, left downwind, 3-2. That's 4-2-3, runway 3-2. Okay, now I want you to, we're going to put it in a turn. Okay. And, uh... 
Use ailerons to initiate a curve, but there's a, there's a little thing it's called stick and rudder, stick, stick, rudder, stick, rudder. Okay. Don't use one without the other. Right. So if you're going to make a, a shallow turn, did you want to give it just a little right aileron, a little right rudder? Okay. About five miles north of Murfreesboro, we'd like to do some touch and goes there. Five miles north. Zero one two seven Mike Tango, you're at 2,000 feet, identing. Hi, Denning. There are one, two, seven, Mike Tango. Okay, good. Now, if you, yeah, I'll roll out. Go ahead, roll out. And final runway three two report and, on three. And we'll watch you roll out. Two, tell me Cessna have in the pattern. What what altitude you're at and what you're heading? Four well, three mile final for runway three two. There are okay. one, two, seven, Mike Tango. Zero one two seven Mike Tango, thank you. Our wind three zero zero at one five altitude, yeah, altitude two hundred and six. And did you want to stay in the pattern? Are we twenty nine hundred? Uh, we'd like it to stay be in the pattern. Two thousand nine hundred. Zero one two seven Mike Tango. Two thousand nine hundred. Yeah. Okay, sir. I have not cleared you to land yet, but I will clear you for the option in just a moment. And I'll get it up to three thousand. Up to three thousand. Yeah. About a mile. Uh, we're heading left south. Left spacing is good. Air one two seven Mike Tango. Runway three two. I want the three numbers. The what, what's underneath that south? After your option. What would the number be? Traffic for runway 32 and report uh, midfield down when you're back. 180. 180. 180 heading. Good. And what is your speed? We'll keep an eye out for that. 95. 95. Clear to okay. runway 32. 95. Good. The option and then stay left What is your rate of climb? There, 127 Mike Tango. About 400, 300 feet a minute. Good. Excellent. So you're telling me uh, that you have a pretty good, like there may be power descending. We're getting, uh, looks like traffic. Plus one up. You keep a look out that way. I'm going to turn away from it. If you can see any. It's zero, zero. I don't know. Plus one. That way? No. Way. Three, it looks like it's moving behind. Somebody over Mike 54. Okay, he's moving off that way. We'll go back. Well, maybe a helicopter pretty low. Okay, go ahead and turn us back to a heading of 180. Uh, tower 7, Mike Tango's over at Nissan. We don't have that traffic on site. Uh, he is on the runway. No factor for you, Arrow 127, Mike Tango. Roger, thank you. Okay, I want you to turn left to 
heading of 120, and I want you to use a little stick and a little rudder. You're looking for traffic. Where you're turning. Left downward for one eye. That's 423, runway 32, cleared for the option. As a general rule, if they're right on the horizon, if you look out and you see them on the horizon, they're at your altitude. If they're below, this is in a small plane down low. This, this goes out the window if you're up high in a jet. But in our altitudes that we fly, and we're, keep us up at least 2,500. So you want to initiate a climb, and if it gets too slow, you're going to have to add a little power, right? right. Climb equals power. Here you go. Notice how the engine's slowing down? Right. And how your airspeed's bleeding off? You want to climb 2,500, you got to give a little power, there you go. And let it pitch up. Get a one, two, zero. the uh, RPM coming right. up. You get there, then you throw it back off to about 23. Front tower, Arrow 127 Mike Tango, midfield, downwind, runway 32. Arrow 7 Mike Tango, Cessna traffic a mile final, advise them in sight. We have Arrow, we have the Cessna traffic in sight on okay. final, Arrow 127 Mike Tango. Arrow 127 Mike Tango, follow the Cessna, number 2, okay, runway 32, clear for turn the option. Turn left to a heading of 210. Cessna, number 2, clear for the option, runway 32, Arrow 127 Mike Tango. Left to 210. Yep. That's not the quickest way there, is it? No, no. And I want you to try to maintain your altitude of 2,500. Notice when you turn, it's a given that you're losing lift. Right. Because lift is generated by where the perpendicular to the wing. Right. So here, if your lift is straight up and down like the horizon, as you turn it out, it goes out to the side. That's what sort of pulls you around. You're sort of being lifted around. But at the same token, you lose a little lift. So to compensate, you have to give a little elevator back pressure. Little elevator back pressure. And as a rule of thumb, you roll out before you're heading about half of your bank angle. So if you've got a 20 degree bank, so 10 degrees before you get there, you roll out. Good. Remember, notice, did you see the nose come up? Yeah. Okay, manhandle it and put the nose back down. Handle it and put the nose back down. There you go. Get your wings level. You're, all, you're back in a turn, you lost your heading. Good. And then you adjust your, once you get it uh, stabilized, how it sort of comes together. Yeah, right now you're uh, showing you a slight descent, but I can, with the nose up, so it's a trending instrument. It's not always giving you instantaneous information. Okay, I want you to initiate a climb 80 knots. And I want you to turn just start turning that way. Okay. Here, 10, 20, 30, 45, or excuse me, 60, 90. So you got 30, 90, 60. Notice how you're losing a little altitude there when it goes down. Right. So initiate about a 20 degree bank, climb at 80 knots. See right. if you can figure out the, the correlation. That is. How would you get it to 80 knots? I'd have to lift the nose up. There you go. Now you want to climb, so that's what you want to do. Notice how much earth you got. You're in like a spiral down. See your spiraling right. down? Right. What would you do? There you go. It's intuitive. Excellent. Don't focus on these instruments, though. Okay. Now notice how you've got nose up. That's what you're looking out. And watch your, what's happened to your airspeed. Starting to drop. Yep. I need to go down. Uh, Nice and easy, or you'll, you'll get what they call seesawing. Right. 80 knots. 
what you do is you just sort of ease it, just sort of ease it up. Okay. And uh, sort of keep an eye on the airspeed, just sort of ease it up. If you're not getting the desired results, you ease it a little bit more. Now it's sort of getting close. Okay. Now, you, once you get there, then you try to figure out what it say, what type of pressure it takes to keep you at 80 knots. Yeah, that works. Uh, six, four, four, two, three. Report midfield. Downwind down up 3-2. Cessna 423, runway 3-2. Clear back the this way. Clear back to the right. Clear the option. Yeah. Six, As you four, turn, four, two, three. 20 degrees of bank. Still try to keep me at 80 knots. If you want to climb, if you really want to climb, you got to give it power. 80 knots. Nice and easy. Look at your nose, how high it came up. Yeah. You'll bleed off the speed and go way past 80 there. Now you're going to get what they call porpoise. So you got to get nice, nice and easy. See, now you're going real fast? Yeah. What you do is you just sort of keep it on the horizon. Don't let it go past the horizon. Just sort of hold it there and let it stabilize. Give it a chance to stabilize. Okay. Now this is what they call trim. I'm going to sort of show, I'm going to put a little bit of back trim in it. Notice now that you keep it at 80, you got to sort of push. Push on it. Okay. Yeah. Now you got your 80, correct? Correct. If you let go, what's going to happen? See how it's sort of pitching up even more? Right. Because it's out of what they call out of trim. Right. So what you do is you ease it back down with your uh, with pressure just about here. Let it stabilize. What stabilizes is where you try to get about a zero. Zero seven Mike Tango, Cessna's on a mile final. Do you see the traffic? We have the Cessna traffic. And then, then right. you zero take the pressure out. There, one two seven Mike Tango, follow the Cessna. Sort of go up. Two, clear for the option. Follow up. The in. Clear for one up. Put the tail up, uh, nose down. So think of it, if you pull that up, the tail comes up, nose goes down. Push it down, the tail goes down, the nose comes up. Go ahead and do a 180. Return. For what heading? Oh, go to about uh, 300. Try to maintain 3,500. to get you to hold a heading again. What's it trying to do? Look outside, look outside. Going up. Yep, what do you do? Your man hand, you push it down. Nice and gently. Oh, don't go too, uh, too, too aggressive or you'll start going down really fast. Right. You just want to ease it down. Back to 3,500. If the nose tries to come up, got like too much elevator trim up. That's why it keeps doing it on its own. So you push it back down. First you get it where you want it by pushing it. Right. Then you trim the pressure out. So I got about right here and I'll trim that pressure out. Question. Remember as you go down, you want to come out with the power. As you go up, you want to put in the power. Now, try to stabilize it at 3,500 with the yoke. Try to stabilize it with the yoke. Okay. Or just sort of play with it. See the nose coming up? Right. You want to try to get it level with the horizon. Do you feel like you have a lot of pressure on it? Um, a little bit. Does it feel like it wants to climb? Or five five Mike Whiskey, so we're going to clear to the Statesville Airport. As filed, climb and maintain 3,000. Right, go ahead and go right, zero, 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 zero minutes after departure. Right, zero, six, zero, maintain 3,000. Squawk five, six, two, six.
Regional 5, Mike. Whiskey, read back correct. Spec runway 3-2. Advise when you're ready to taxi. Wind 3-1-0 at 1-5. Altimeter 2-9-6. Coming out at 060, a little overshoot. I want you to descend down to 3000. I give you a chance, you know, to do a lot of maneuvering. To so if you want to descend, to pull a little bit of power. A little power, out. yeah, because you don't want to overspeed the propeller. That'll help you come down. Here's your 060, but you got yourself in a turn again. Notice the nose come up across the horizon, that means you're going to in a climb and you're going to bleed the airspeed. That's why it's so important to look out and see what your plane's doing. And also, that's where the traffic's at. Think of it this way, Starfield. You're going down the interstate at 70 miles an hour. Well, let's say you don't know how fast you're going. But you want to know how fast you're going. How much time do you actually look at your speedometer? Well, you're going down the interstate. But, I mean, how long? When you do look at it, how long? I'm just glancing at it. And you're glancing at it. And that's what you got to get to doing an airplane. You have to say, okay, uh, my parameters were I'm supposed to be on a heading of 060. So you glance down at it to see if you're there. If you're not there, you got to make a mental note where it's at. Initiate a control input. So I know I need to go to the left just a little bit. If, uh, there you are, 3,000. Now try to maintain 3,000. This is heading a 060. And if you're, if you're having to hold, let go of the pressure on it. So that's your right. See, that's not too bad. Right. Yeah, I'm going to show you what it could be if you had too much in it. You had it way out of trim. Now hold on to the yoke. Hold on to it. Hold on to it. Hour, one, two, seven, five, six, seven, six, seven, 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 Feel that pressure? Yeah. Seven, that's seven, what you call out of trim. You, you have to manhandle it. You got to pull yeah, it up to where you want it. Now, you got to pull that. You got to get that trim out of there. Right now, the nose down. So you want the nose to come up. You want the tail to go down. So you trim that out. Trim it. See how I'm trimming it out? Right. Then I'm sort of letting go of it. Okay. I'm getting close. See how I did that? Right. Now you try to get it. So you're at 3,000 or 2,500, straight and level. So you're going to let it come down a little bit. But you don't want to get it down too fast, somewhere between 500 and 1,000. You don't want to get nose down on it. Right. You want to turn to a heading of 180. Laser avoidance. And you're looking now for traffic. So what a little Cessna looks like at two miles. Spec on your windshield. That's why you got to keep. By the time you can see him, he's pretty damn close. Right. That's why you got to keep your eyes. You should spend about 90% out, about 10% in. 90% out, 10% in. You see me, I'm, I'm keeping a good, healthy lookout. Got me ahead at 180. Good. Now. I'm going to utilize the GPS, I'm going to just show you a little about, I'm going to hit the D button, the direct with the arrow, it's called the direct two. Coming up to Mike 54, I'm going to activate that. Okay. Now what it did, it gave me two things, it told me a desired track, my desired track is 266, so I want you to turn to 266. Okay. Telling me I'm about 23 miles away. So you're gonna you're gonna gain two thousand five hundred. You're gonna turn to two six six. That's probably almost in the plus four. Okay, I see a traffic plus four coming opposite direction. So he's gonna be up that way. And I went over this way, maybe in the clouds. Like I'm still losing altitude. Okay. Gotta give us a power then. Power altitude. Plus 500. Our wing tip now. Hey.
lazy all of a sudden. It, well, it is, get that way when you turn into the sun. You don't lose any more altitude. What kind of control pressures are you feeling? Uh, I'm getting pressure. How would you get it out if you don't want it? I would trim it, but trim I'm it. not sure which way. <laughs> okay, go ahead and just play with it. Uh, okay. I'm going to tell you, if you push, push it down, tail comes down, the nose goes up. Right. This is, this is, what's it, it's opposite of what, if you want it to come up, you push it down. Right. If you want it to go, if you want the nose to go down, you push it up. That's okay. That's one way to think about it. But you don't trim to stability. You always put the yoke where you want it first. You stabilize the airplane, then you take the pressure. We're in the tower, Cessna 64423, report mid field, downwind on 32. Cessna 423, runway 32, clear for the option. Clear the option, 64423. Okay, there's your altitude, so you have to lower the nose a little bit. Try to trim it out. Good. Question. Okay. Have a question? Do I have a question? Yep. You got uh, sensory overload, you got to, maybe after you get down on the ground and think about it a while. I have no clue where I'm at. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Well, we are, we're about we're about 20 miles. Okay. To the east of uh, to the east, and we're heading a little a little south of the airport. Um, remember, I said the heading to take us here 266. You're going about 220. That's right. You'd have to turn a little more towards the sun. Fortunately, we'll just have to block it out and keep an eye open. So, all, uh, completely west is 280? Nope, 270. So we need to be right in about in the middle. Almost, yeah, just a little just a little to the left of 270, the west. Okay, we're going to, okay, anytime you go into a place, you got to be able to navigate there. We're using GPS right now. But you, want, you have to know the weather, because without the weather, we have the Cessna traffic on site. So we're here to punch up the weather. Number two, follow the Cessna. We have a change, it's still there. So we're going to punch up. Clear for the option, runway 3-2 there. We're going to punch up the weather on COM 2. Zulu, wind estimated 3-2-0 at 1-1, visibility 1-0. Sky condition clear below 1-2-thousand. Temperature 1-8 Celsius. Dew point 2 Celsius. Altimeter 2, niner, niner. Six remarks, density altitude 1,000. All right, so the uh, winds are still about coming down the runway. Smyrna Airport. Automated weather observation 2, 2, Listen 5, to the wind. 6, Zulu. Wind estimated 3, 2, 0. At 1, 1, visibility okay. 1, Here's zero. a little trick. Sky condition to clear below 1, 2,000. The power is going to determine it for us. Okay. But Dew point, two. there's going to be Celsius. a day where the altitude power is two. Niner. You're going Niner. into an untowered airport. Remarks, density altitude 1,000. First thing is you dial in the wind. The wind is what? 320, right? Correct. 320. Airport. Automated now, weather observation. Cover up two, the bottom. Two, five, six, Zulu. Wind estimated 320. At 1, one of Visibility things, right? 1, zero. Sky condition clear below 1, 2,000. Okay. Cover up the bottom and then you look for the runway that's available. In our case, it's w runway 1432. Which, which runway do you see when you look at this available? 3-2. Just happened to be worked out that the wind is coming right down the runway. But, well, just sort of think about that, and, uh, and that's how you know you're landing into the wind. Okay. And we'll talk more about that later. So you're, show, you're saying that I see 3-2. Yeah, right there. Okay. Let's change it. Let's say the wind is... 270. So All I dialed right. in the wind. Now I cover up the bottom half. Which runway? We have two available. We have runway 14, which is down here. Right. And we got runway 32. If you cover, which one can you see? 32. That's the runway you would land to go into the wind. Okay. That's 
a, just a little graphical representation to help you pick a runway. Okay. Okay. So now we're about we're about 15 out. So I'm going to make a radio call to them. So I'm going to turn my volume back up. We're still looking for a run rover. Smyrna Airport. Automated weather observation. Okay, I see uh, traffic over this way going below us. Sort of keep an eye. It's really hazy. It is hazy. Sort of keep your eyes out. Moving. Plus, that may be a thousand feet above us. See anything up there? may be him way up there. Up there. Oh, that's not. Sort of just turn this way for a second. If we can. Yes, that's Don't six, fight four, me there. Two, three, oh, okay. Four, We're sort of turning. Uh, if we can. Two, down with. So that's 423, runway 32, cleared for the option. Wind 320 at 16. Right behind. 64423, cleared for the option. Plus 1,000. Right behind. Keep an eye on that way, too. It looks like he's following us. Thousand foot on top of us. Yeah. Look, trying to look up. See if I Run a tower. One two seven. Mike Tango. Midfield downwind. Runway three two. Cessna traffic in sight. Tower one two seven. Mike Tango. Follow the Cessna number two. Runway three two. Clear for the option. Following Cessna number two. Cleared. Runway three two. Now, okay. Feels comfortable. Okay, we're going to turn back. Eye open, see if you can pick him up. One time. Okay, he's moving. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to call uh, Smyrna and um, get, a, get a clearance to come inbound. Okay. Okay. First of all, they're going to want to know where we're at. Well, if you're going directly for the airport, you're to the east right now. The airport's directly in front of us. I know because I can see it on the GPS. Okay? So we're going to call them up, tell them who we are and where we're going. So we'd like a full stop landing. So it'll go something like this. Sparta Tower, Cessna 5140 Hotel. That's a 5140 Hotel, Tower. We're about 13 miles to the east inbound for a full stop landing. We have the weather. That's a 5140 Hotel. Roger, I have two in the pattern. So proceed to a five mile final runway 32. Report on five mile final. I'll have your landing clearance at that time. Wind 320 at 15. Altimeter 290 or 6. Okay, report five mile final for runway 32. Two in the pattern. 40 Hotel. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to try to create a five-mile final. So we don't want to go directly to the airport, we want to stay to the left of it. And when we turn, we'll be uh, at a, a final to it. So what we do is just sort of keep an eye out here. Looking for traffic again. We'll sort of stay uh, We're at about 1,500. Or one. You are, not me. <laughs> so what would you do? You want to be at 2,000? Yep. It was something.
power. Pitch it up ever so gently. Now you're going to bleed off all your airspeed trying to get up there. Get it up there, yeah. Get up 23, 2400 RPM. We're going to keep it, uh, keep it at about uh, this, uh, probably about this, this heading, a little bit more maybe. Right now the airport's right over here, but I can't see it because of the haze. We're 11 miles out. Yeah, when you get up to 2,000, level out. Now the landing is a, one of the more difficult things. You're just going to sort of observe and I'm going to try to talk you through it. I mean, I'm going to land it and I'm going to do everything. You can just sort of listen and watch what I do, okay? Okay. Uh, I can guarantee you, you don't want any part of this one. <laughs> okay, now we're 10 miles out and we're, we're heading to the north a little bit. Now, notice, how do I know I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to be in the right place? Well, situational awareness. If I turn, if I turn right now, which way would my heading go to? Right. Runway 32. Right. Okay. So I got to stay uh, this side, and I can actually see it here on the air, on the, I want to stay over this way of the airport, so when I can turn, I'll be on a five mile final. Pretty soon here. There's the field over there. Starting to pick it up. Cessna 64423, report midfield on 32. Over 9 miles. 64423, clear for the option. 64423, clear for the option. That's a racetrack now. What we got? There you go. Let's uh, let's try about here. This heading right. Anyway, no. We'd like to depart towards Murfreesboro. Okay, now we got them leaving, so we got Arrow 7 Mike Tango, Roger, just make a left downwind departure. Left downwind departure. Make a left downwind departure for 1832, okay. uh, Arrow 1 to 7 Mike Tango. So he's going to be going back to Murfreesboro. Let's see if we can't pick him up on our t there. That's 5140 Hotel. Proceed direct to a right base for runway 32. Direct for a right base, runway 32. 40 Hotel. Okay, we got to turn a little bit closer in now. For about eight miles. Oh, hold the altitude for me. Okay. A heading about two seven seven. Yep, that's about it. Here we go. Starting to see the field come inside a little bit. Still about eight miles out. Looking for traffic. There's that Mike Tango guy. Right in front of us. Looks like he might be. Below us below us. Looks like he's going back that way. There must be another two guys in the pattern. There must be, there he is, there he is over here going that way towards Murfreesboro. Okay, there's the runway, or the airport. There's Nissan right there. We're going to sort of clip Nissan. Okay, get your checklist out and do a before landing checklist. All right, landing light on. Okay, go ahead and turn the landing light on. Okay, seatbelt harness. Okay. We're good. Mixture, best power. Okay, mixture, best power, check. Uh, carb heat on. Okay, well, once we get out of the green arc, we'll put that in. We're nope. not out of the green arc right now. Uh, fuel on. Fuel, yeah, we haven't touched yet. And flaps as required. Okay, and we'll put them in as needed. Hey, we're coming down to traffic pattern altitude, which is about 1,500.
Power still looks for traffic. We're close to a right base. Because uh, when 3-2 is directly here, that would be where you'd be in a right base. I'm trying to stay off a of knee on. Okay. Uh, we're flying, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna sort of level out here, trim it out. Back on the power just a little bit, slow it down a little bit. Trim off the to notice the airspeed will drop here as we sort of trim it out. bit more because we're not we're not doing the full traffic pattern so we want to be about 500 feet below traffic pattern altitude when we hit the final what's so, the traffic pattern altitude 1500 but we're, we're getting ready to intersect it in the base so we want to be you know, a little bit lower about like right here trying to get two off my and part of the tower Four zero hotel established right base three two. That's four zero hotel runway three two clear to land. Clear to land runway three two four zero hotel. All right, we've been clear. Five eight one tango's three thousand five hundred over top of the Murphy's bro. Five eight eight Mike Tango's right there. Okay, you see the Sorry, runway over there? We'd like to request yes. the uh, okay. visual so runway 32. We're going to sort of stay off the of Murphy, we're off the... Uh, I'm an AMAC Tango, 45 mile final for runway 32. Um, Winds 30010, uh, altimeter 2996. And when we get we'll up, line, up, and, uh, up on the runway 32, we're going to turn, make a right hand turn into to, uh, runway 32. So 64423, you're number two, you follow another Cessna on a right base for him in sight. Get run over. Somebody off. Where? Where? You'll see him? Right off to my left. Is he coming our way? Uh, he's heading. Okay. There he is, okay. right there. Spider Tower, uh, 4 0 Hotel has traffic at uh, 1 o'clock high. That's 4 0 Hotel, Roger. And we have traffic inside 6 4 2 3. That's 423, Roger. You can start your base behind that traffic. Uh, runway 32, clear for the option. We're going to clear the option. We're going to come out of the green arc, put our first degree of flaps in, and we're going to slow it down a little bit. So, now what we'll do is line up on final. Now this is a crosswind landing, is you have to keep the fuselage aligned with the runway. But notice, but you got to keep the wing into the wind to hold your ground track, or you'll be blown right off. So we will land sideways. Okay. When I say sideways with the wing. November 8, Mike Tango. Make a left 360 on the final, and you'll be following a Hawker jet that's uh, eight miles southwest of the field. Five eight, Mike Tango, uh, left 360. Hey, you're uh, put in a lot jet. of rudder. Yes, sir. A lot of aileron. Get lined up. See now, two whites, two reds, that's right on the glide slope. See, it's here. See how we're sort of lining up on it, coming in with it? Correct. 20 degrees. Okay. Starting to stabilize a little bit. We're coming right down to it. Over a little bit more. We're pulling out a little power. Here we go, looking good. As we let it come down, we just sort of dance with it. Don't let it blow us off. Sort of follow me out when I'm pulling the power out. Nose up. Nose fall. Nose up. Just four zero hotel. Turn left at Alpha Taxi Cross runway one to parking. Okay, we're turning left on Alpha and not taxi. available. Yeah, Smart Tower Hawker 2400 is with you for the visual 3-2. Uh, 
Tiger 240, your number two, following right. Cessna traffic about a mile final, runway 32, clear to land. 32, clear to land, 240, This is runway, it's closed, he's already cleared us to go across it. Okay. As soon as we cross this, we can come back tango, descend to uh, Adderblow 2500. Adderblow 2500, five, I did one tango. Adderblow hotel's clear, runway 32, crossing uh, runway 19. That's 40, hotel, roger. Okay, flaps up. Repeat off. Check this out. Right now we're diving away. And the traffic ahead of us, I see, uh, touch and go for a 240 Zulu. 240 Zulu affirmative. Thank you. What does it say? Your dad? I'm an AMAC Tango traffic, 12 o'clock. Uh, Two miles, opposite direction, helicopter. Uh, Two tech, correction, 3000, indicated. Off. I'm gonna get that Falcon jet inside. Um, Please don't factor two. Already got it for you. Roger. Okay. Taxi light as required. Yeah, we don't need Okay. Uh, goat heat off. What was that? Uh, goat. Point to it. Let me see what you're saying. Speedo heat off. Okay. Oh, we didn't use speedo. Okay, you take care of the airplane. I want okay. you to taxi to keep me on the yellow line. All right, oh, this is the crosswind technique right here. On the throttle. On the throttle, yeah. Put a little to get you going. 240 Zulu, clear land. Mark 240 Zulu, affirmative. Runway 32, clear land. Where am I going? Clear land, you want to go? You're going to ease off here to the left. Nominate Mike Tango, runway 32, clear low approach. Got to stay on the yellow line. Mike Tango, clear low approach. Rudder, 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 rudder. You're going too fast. Pull out of the throttle a little bit. Now, now I pull that, put yeah. a lot of rudder in to straighten it out. Yeah. Are we going to the left yep. or right? Yep. Right, right. Keep an eye out for other airplanes looking, coming in on you. Right now the wind is zero, zero, so we're going to take the wind head on. Fine. Our best chance of having clearance. Target 240 Zulu, turn left on Juliet, text. We're trying to cut nice. these two planes down the middle. Next one's our 5 8 my tango, we're at the 5 on fire. No, name back tango, watch. Third, uh, low approach, 3 2. 2, clear, low approach, 5 8 my tango. Wing tip, look. And I left on Juliet. Uh, and on a swivel. Your chunk there. 240 Zulu, affirmative turn left yeah, on Juliet. Here, and I'll, I'll sort of take it and I'll show you how to spin it around. Do as you sort of. And on the throttle, I got my feet on the rudders and feet on the brakes. Use full rudder. And a little left brake, a little power. Okay. So 64423, you're number two. You fall on the uh, diamond. Or any sign of port traffic to follow on site. Right here, right. Number two in the traffic, and we'll, we'll look for tra look, number two in the, in the traffic. Look right. for traffic, and it'll be a full stop. Avionics off is down. Four, two, three, right. Okay.